Uh, so my name is David Fromstein. I am a strategic principal solution engineer on our uh, commercial manufacturing team. So basically what that means is I have the incredible privilege and opportunity to uh, be both a massive nerd and get to geek out on all the cool stuff that our platform and our technology offers. And they also shockingly still let me talk to customers. So customers should be excited about anything to do with flow. Everyone who works with me knows that I can't stop talking about flow. I think it is by far the coolest thing that Salesforce has put out in my eight years at the company. And this particular app that I submitted uh, that's called Task Follow-Up Rules takes one of the first elements of automation that I show in a lot of my demos to my customers that a lot of customers ask me for. And this was finally a great reason to package it up and put it out there. And essentially what it does is it allows admins, uh, or actually, sorry, it allows uh, business users, not just admins, to create rules that allow the logic to automatically create a follow-up task when an initial task is logged. One of the really common examples of this is anytime I leave a task, anytime I create a task that has the term voicemail or LVM, which is a really common abbreviation for left voicemail, I wanna automatically schedule a follow-up task next week to follow up on that voicemail. Or anytime I log a task with the subject sent quote, I wanna automatically follow up tomorrow to check in on that quote. So this is something I have demoed dozens and dozens, maybe hundreds of times. And my customers always ask me, you know, how can you set this up? And I've walked them through it. It's not a very challenging process, but what this app does that I think is really fun is instead of hard coding the logic into a flow itself, it actually abstracts the logic away into a custom object. This is super nerdy, but if you bear with me, uh, it, it abstracts the logic into a series of custom object records. So you actually never need to go into flow. You can basically just have all of your rules as records. So, okay, LVM equals follow up on voicemail. Sent quote equals follow up on quote, you know, the next day or seven days. And uh, it's what I think is a really cool model for using custom objects uh, that you know all users can theoretically have access to. You don't need to be an admin. You don't need to be a flow uh, user, flow builder, but you can leverage one pre-built flow in the background and get to drive all of this cool automation from that. And I'm actually, uh, as soon as we get off this call, I'm working on another demo that has the exact same use case for building out recommendations for training videos uh, it's going to be really similar, and I think this is something that Flow users, um, it's maybe a little more advanced, but once they start using it, I think there's going to be all sorts of cool applications. And where I'll start is by saying, you're never going to know everything about Salesforce. It's just not going to happen. The platform is way too big. We are innovating way too quickly. So you really just need to accept that you're never going to need to, you're never going to be able to know everything all at once. And the reason that's so important is because in order to be successful, what you really need to learn is how to learn things when you need to learn them. And especially with flow, which can be really intimidating, uh, the learning curve can be a little steep at the beginning, learning how to get the answers to your questions as you run into them, rather than trying to learn everything up front, is really important. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to find out the people and the communities you can go to that will have those answers. So there are 30 people way smarter than me at Salesforce that I know I can bug and I try to go one at a time so I'm not bugging them all every day, but uh, I know exactly who I can go to with different questions or I know the Slack channels or the community groups that I can go to and, or just you know the Google searches that I need to type in. But you're never gonna know it all so learn how to find the answers. And that's really the skill set that is gonna carry you through uh, many, many years and many releases over time.